Michigan, eight-time All-Star, two-time league MVP, finals MVP, recognized as one of the greatest of all times, and quite frankly, one of the nicest guys we've ever worked with up here. Ladies and gentlemen, Steph Curry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Marty's over there starting all the claps. So I'm, just gotta shout him out. <laughs> hey, Steph, uh, what, hold, um, yes, what we'll do, we'll fire a couple questions off and then let the media get up here. But, you know, you still got to be feeling pretty high after about three weeks after this uh, NBA championship. How's that feel? Yeah, it feels amazing. I definitely haven't come down from it yet. It's only been three weeks to today. So uh, amazing, amazing year for all obvious reasons and to uh, get back to the mountaintop, get the fourth ring um, and do it with the new cast of characters. You know, with our core that has been together for over 10 years, it's, it's an amazing uh, thing to think about. I don't think it really has sunk in yet. So, um, yeah, it's nice to come out and see all the, you know, the Dub Nation here in, in, uh, in Lake Tahoe and, and play some golf. So, I'm excited about it. All right. That segue to golf, uh, what would it feel like for you to win this thing? You've got the ability. You've been close a few times. Um, what would it mean to you, especially in a, especially winning a fourth NBA championship three weeks ago? I think uh, my wife would probably tell you if I came home with that trophy, she knew what other trophies might need to move out the way <laughs> 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 back at home in the uh, in the office. So I hope we can make that decision uh, on Sunday night when I get home. But it, I've been here, I think, nine or ten times. Uh, I enjoy it every week. You know, make it an amazing week, you know, with the guys that I come up here with and play well a couple, three three times, got in the top five. Um, so I know I have it in there. This year, obviously, coming off the finals run, how deep we go into June, we'll see how the golf game goes. Usually that helps with lower expectations uh, just to go out and play free and, and just have fun, first and foremost. And if I can find a way to get off to a good start, that's obviously the, the best uh, – the best feeling when you can feel like you're in contention. So, no, you can't win it on the first day, but just try to play well and make things as easy as possible out there. All right, let's turn it over to the media folks to fire away. If you would, give your yeah. name and affiliation uh, fire away with your questions. Thanks, Phil. Uh, Pat, uh, Sunday columnist with the Reno paper here. Uh, Seth, what's it like having your dad in your life and, of course, here with you uh, this week as he's been throughout your entire life? And what's it been like for you to be the father that you are? You, you mean a lot to a lot of people. Especially, I think, knowing... Uh, you know, my dad, I, get to, I grew up watching him play in the league, played for 16 years and learned, you know, how to be professional, how to develop a work ethic. And then you get to share other experiences outside of, you know, the, the arena, like, like playing golf together. It's a game that you can play for your, your whole life. And we've been blessed to have amazing golf experiences. My brother's here as well. And it's definitely a family affair. And we have a great competition. I wouldn't even call it friendly. It's it's real. So just uh, to be able to have, be blessed to have that experience, I never take it for granted. And you know, we're gonna hopefully add another great week, you know, to the list. Let's go Warriors! Let's go Warriors! <laughs> Let's go Warriors! <laughs>